Yo, what is up guys, this is Tito back with another Redmi Note 3 video and today I am gonna be showing you how to install Mocky ROM based on Android 8.1 on Redmi Note 3 and let's see how is it. And today is the first time I am shooting at night so I am just testing these kind of stuff. So let's make it happen. As you can see, I am back with the legit Redmi Note 3 and as you can see, I am on Nitrogen OS right now, 8.1. So let me reboot the phone into TWRP recovery. I am using official TWRP 3.2.1.0 here. So now as usual, go to wipe, then wipe cache, Dalvik cache, system and data. Now swipe to wipe. Once done, go back, go to install, locate the ROM and GApps file in your storage as usual. Now swipe to confirm flash. All the download links will be listed in the description box below, so do not worry. And I selected reboot system after installation, so it will reboot automatically after the flashing. So. Here is the boot animation of Mocky ROM. So as you can see it booted up to the system and the setup looks like in Chinese by default. Of course because it's a stock android based Chinese ROM. So let me just change the language to English US. And let me reduce the display size to small. After completing the setup, we have Google Now Launcher as I flashed micro G apps and Launcher Launcher as default launcher in this ROM. Pretty dope default wallpaper right there. For Google Now cards to the left of the home screen, it says Lawn Feed not enabled. So let me just enable it. And as you can see, Google Now cards are working fine now. These are the stock apps this ROM comes preloaded with. We do have FM radio here. Now let me just jump into the about section. As you can see 24th April 2018 experimental build and this is a very early build of this ROM. So some things might not work here and there. Security patch is of April 5th 2018. Mocky's own kernel here I guess. And SLinux status is enforcing here and runs on Android 8.1 Oreo of course. Inside gestures, we only have jump to camera option by double pressing the power button. In status bar, we have little bit of customization, pretty close to what we get on Lineage OS. We have quick pull down. And here are the quick toggles for you. Yes, screenshot toggle is working fine here. Here are some more quick toggles. You can add any toggle by just tapping on it. Let me just disable heads up. The read mode is not simply working, similar to Resurrection Remix ROM. We have network traffic indicator, but I'll just leave it disabled. And here we have status bar icons like headset, bluetooth, hotspot, etc. And you can set battery to show up percentage always. And we have this status bar brightness control feature which does work fine. And then we have buttons. From here we have backlight option and we have power menu customizations and long press for torch. As you can see, this feature works fine too. And a PC fingerprint scanner is working fine here. Now we have home, recents and volume button customizations. One interesting thing over here is that we have Gboard as pre-installed keyboard. Most ROMs comes with AOSP keyboards, so I have to install Gboard manually. So that's a cool stuff right there. 
let me just fire up the default camera app here it is snapdragon camera i guess here are some samples Now let me jump into display settings. Live display isn't working so moving on to style. You can change the whole UI color to dark as you can see. Let me change it back to light again. And we have these many accent color options. We have double tap to sleep on the status bar. We have double tap to sleep on the lock screen. But no double tap to sleep on the home screen. Here are the launcher launcher settings if you are into that. And we have Moki Center from where you can check for updates for Moki ROM. Let me just set up the face unlock and check if auto face unlock is working or not. Nope, you have to swipe up after the face matched. The ROM is working pretty smooth enough, but here is a deal breaker. Anything related to audio is not simply working in this ROM. Audio FX is broken. I tried to play a track from music player that doesn't work too. It simply can't play the track. I tried to record audio and it turns out not to be working. So if this bug gets fixed anytime soon, I am sure that this ROM is gonna be one of the best custom ROMs out there. So that was kind of a disappointment about this ROM. Well, let's see what happens in the future with software updates. I'll give you updates whenever a Moki ROM update comes. There are a lot of updates in one sentence. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching guys. Hit that big thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel right here if you love my work. This has been Tito and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye now.